Hi everyone, welcome to the Text Passion Podcast. So today episode start with a story. I got this letter from the dealership about my car and it's like a recall. Uh, they're updating the system from a single code to a rolling code. So that spiked my curiosity. I was like, okay, let me just find out what, what's this all about. And if you don't know, a single code is the one you have like an IR receiver and a transmitter uh, sending the same code every single time to perform the same action. For example, you have the car door. Uh, you press a button, it opens the car door using the same code. What if you copy that code on a different device and send the same code, then you'll be able to kind of unlock the car in a hacky way. So that's like a security issue. A rolling system code is a system where the code changes every time it gets used. So you would send a code to open the door, the next time the system is expecting a different code or basically the previous code plus one sometimes. And that brings me into today's episode topic. You probably guessed it. I'm talking about the Flipper Zero. This thing has been all over the internet. It's blowing up on YouTube, TikTok, you name it. We'll discuss the definition of Flipper Zero. What can you do with it? Can you get one now? Also, can you build your own? At the end, we'll talk about worries and concern and what can you do to protect yourself. Stay tuned and let's get into it. Before I get started, a couple things to get out of the way. First is, quick disclaimer, this video is my opinion. Please do your own research. Second, thank you for the feedback. Please keep it coming. I'm trying to improve the quality of the video and the audio of these episodes. Thank you for your help. I am also trying to make these podcast style episodes less visual dependent. So for those of you who like to just listen to them, that should be an option. If you still enjoy watching, thanks for watching. Lastly, if I do sound under the weather, it's just my allergy, I'm fine. Sorry about that. I'll do my best to keep the audio quality uh, best possible. Let's get into it. So what is Flipper Zero? Flipper Zero is a portable multi-tool for pen testers and geeks in a toy-like body. It loves hacking digital stuff such as radio protocols, access control systems, hardware, and more. It's a fully open source and customizable, so you can extend it Whatever way you like. You've probably seen this thing that looks like a toy uh, with a small screen. It has a couple buttons and I think a control pad. It looks pretty cool, but it looks like a toy. It has a dolphin icon. So let's let's go over the spec. It looks like it's kind of a hacking device with a small screen, but let's look at the specifications here. The screen is a 1.4 uh, inches. There is an LED for status, there is a back exit button, and there is a five button direction pad uh, for like navigation. Come with a USB-C, it has, uh, it takes a micro SD card, a GPIO pins, and an infrared uh, trans transceiver. So that's what I'm curious about also, the GPIO pins are seems to be cool. It looks like this is how you can extend the Flipper Zero. Here uh, they show that you can use the transceiver to uh, kind of send in signal to open doors. Back to the car story, that's probably what also you can use to... I've seen people open up the uh, charging port for Teslas with this. So uh, there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, this is the chip, the CC 
1101 chip. I believe you can buy this thing off Amazon. Um, so I'm very sure, actually. Let's look it up. I believe you can go to Amazon and just uh, search for CC1101. Um, yeah. Yeah, this thing is like $11 on, on Amazon. Now, is that something you're going to be able to make your own Flipper Zero with? We'll discuss that later in this video. So yeah, this is the chip that they're using for their uh, radio platform transceiver. In addition, it has 125 kilohertz RFID. Uh, that's pretty cool. I believe you can copy a signal from like a hotel card, badge, uh, for these building access stuff. Uh, all these are RFID usually. Uh, I'm not sure about a credit card. I believe you can, uh, maybe that's, that's more like encrypted. I'm not sure about credit cards, but this is pretty cool. Uh, NFC chip, uh, what else? Bluetooth, that's awesome. Let's see, uh, infrared transceiver. You can probably clone like your uh, remote control for like your TV and, and such. Okay, so now for the fun part. I know I'm a new channel, and if you've been watching me for any period of time, by the way, thanks for watching, you know I'm a do-it-yourself type of guy. So first, let's see if you can actually buy one of those things. And uh, as of right now, it is sold out. It says here on their website that it's going to be coming on April 17th uh, for the U.S. market. So you can buy it for 169 US dollars. It is sold out, but it looks like it's coming soon. But that's not what we're talking about here. Can you make one of those yourself? So looking at all these functionalities, I believe it is possible. However, it is going to be really difficult. And it's probably going to cost you more than what it's selling for to make all the functionality combined. Uh, okay, so for this one, let's start with ChatGPT and ask it to help us uh, make a flipper zero. Can I make my own flipper zero? Let's see what ChatGPT says. So it says it's possible, and since it's open source, um, then you can potentially make your own. Now, it emphasizes here that you need the experience in, in electronics and all that stuff, obviously. So it's not going to be an easy task. That's for sure. I did not expect it to be easy. I also believe it will cost you actually more than what they're selling it for. So here is the challenging part. I believe Flipper Zero does so many things decently combined all together in one device. If you want to make your own, but target one functionality, like single function on its own, maybe using an Arduino board or Raspberry Pi, I'm sure that is possible and you can probably do it better. However, combining all these in one single device for the current price that they're selling for, I think that's very difficult task. And also, it probably costs you more money. So should you be worried that someone might steal your credit card information, badge access, or open up your card? Well, you should always look into more options and more ways to secure yourself. For me, I'm still going to take my card to the dealership so they can update the software into the rolling code system. Now, is this posing a real threat? I don't think so. Hacking devices have always existed in the market. There are plenty of them. Uh, if you're interested, let me know and we can probably make another episode about what other hacking devices that already exist in the market. Legally, by the way. This is legal. Uh, I'm not talking about anything illegal here. This is devices that exist in the market legally. So what do I think so far? I think this is very cool, nice gadget that helps people learn about uh, programming, electronics, technology in a fun way. This is exactly what I'm trying to do on this channel. Obviously, I do not encourage using it to damage other people's properties or anything illegal. Uh, I do think this is cool if you want to test your own stuff, if you want to have fun with it just for learning purposes. 
that's exactly what we do on this channel. So yeah, that's my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.